Let's talk about Adit Caballé against Frank Sanchez, bro. Is Caballé the real deal? Because this guy right here came from nowhere. Okay, not nowhere. Because he did beat uh, Chisora seven years ago. and But he was an upset. An upset then. In Monaco. But he literally did something that we, you and I didn't expect to, to, for him to do. He beat Aslanbek Mahmudov, a guy that literally bullied our brother Rafa Kolyari, you know, yeah. to a stoppage. And then he beat him and it was a, a big upset. And then he just dealt with Fran Sanchez. So I'm like thinking to myself, is a ja was a Jagba uh, still at the improving phase? Or is it just that um, Fran uh, Ajaba wasn't ready, wasn't hundred percent for that night, you know, for that fight? When yeah, it I think Ajaba, Ajaba versus Gabayel, uh was a bad day in. You mean uh, Fran uh, Sanchez? Uh, Fran Sanchez. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 Fran Sanchez versus Ajaba was Ajaba bad day. In the boxing ring at work, it was a bad day for if a Jagba at work. If a Jagba is so good, if a Jagba is good, a little dobbin is good. Um, he lost to Frank Sanchez, but not this Frank Sanchez that fought yesterday. Frank Sanchez that fought yesterday, uh, if they would have destroyed him, if they did not do too well when he fought Frank uh, Sanchez, uh, Frank, uh, uh, Sanchez, he didn't do too, too bad. He didn't do too bad. It's just that a little more down he had, and he recovered very fast. That fight could have gone either way. If they still someone to be reckoned with. So when I hear people say, oh, Caballero would destroy Efe now, bro, Caballero fought Efe. Efe defeated Caballero. If Efe fight Caballero again tomorrow, it's going to be a tough fight. I still pray that Efe will come out victoriously. You mean in the I'm a, I, I don't think Kabaya and uh, Fajakba fought, huh? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For Sanchez, you mean? Yes, Sanchez, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you mean uh, the guy that uh, Adagba fought was from a uh, from from Turkey, who was an, oh. was an Olympian? Um, yeah. Adagba defeated him in the amateurs, also defeated him in the pro game. I think right. that is um, his name is. We have to check. I have to cross check his name. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta um, check that. I gotta check that. I is, gotta check that. I would tell, yeah, but what are my, my, um, Ajib Kabayel, Ali, Ali, Ali uh, yes, Ali Aaron, Aaron Yeah, that's the guy that I've yeah. heard about. Yeah, that's the guy. In, in 2019. Yeah, yeah, he. And funny enough, Ali Aaron Demirazan was 11 and old then, huh? Yeah. And yeah. now he's 17. Uh, he's 17 wins in, and with that one loss to Efe Jagba, he just defeated Adam Kon uh, Konaki, he beat Kevin Johnson, he knocked out uh Gerard Washington, he knocked out Nikola Milasic, um, he knocked out Zanku, uh, he beat Zanku, uh, Kamil Sokolowski. Basically, since losing, losing to a Jagba, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six wins in a row, bro. That's crazy. Yep. So, and then Ajakba has had like, wait, let me see right here. Then what's it? Okay, Ajakba lost to Sanchez. Sanchez. He's had one, two, three, four, five, five wins in a row in a way. But I think Ajakba should has to be more active in a way. Though. He has to be because he's thirty years old now, and I would love to see what Ajakba fight next. However, um. Ajit Kabayer is an unknown entity, basically. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he was an unknown entity. Why I say that is because I, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm very much into German boxing because I know yeah, a, yeah, lot yeah. Of German, a lot That's of German good. boxers. These are like mm -hmm. people who are, who are based in Hamburg and train in Hamburg and stuff. Hamburg is like the headquarter of, of boxing in Germany, right? If you want to become wow. a world champion, you want to meet the best uh, trainers in boxing mm -hmm. uh, in Germany. You go to Hamburg. Basically, Hamburg is like the headquarter. You know, that's where wow. Klitschko, Klitschko used to train and base. And then he also had a camp in Austria, like a military camp in a way where he, they trained. But Hamburg, Klitschko trained out of Hamburg then when he was, hmm. dominate, when he was dominating the heavy division. Like he trained yeah. out of Hamburg. 
So that's what he lives in. I think he lived in Germany. I don't know if he's living in Germany now. I think he's in Ukraine now, but he lived in Germany now, in Germany then. And all most of his fight happened in Germany. So Hamburg, Hamburg are breeding a lot of heavyweights, you know, in the future. Even Imanor Diasse also trained in Hamburg, basically from that crop, you know? Mm. So Odias is on the on, on way. You have a uh, Kabiru as well. You know, Peter Kabiru. I don't I don't think he's I don't, I've not seen his fire ever since, man. What happened to Kabiru? <coughs> no, yeah, like Kadiru, Kadiru. Yeah, Kadiru, no Kabiru. So yeah, uh Ajit Kabaya. This guy right here is something special. It's something special. Um Kabaya is, is, is he the real deal? Yeah, because you know that um, Caballero fought for the Sarah seven Derek years ago. Seven years 17. ago, yeah, and and won him through my uh, majority decision. Uh, Caballero is a guy to be looked up for right now. The way he destroyed Frank Sanchez, I don't know why Frank Sanchez fought like that. Frank Sanchez was so scared; he was scared to fight this guy. He was fighting all from round one. To round to the end of the round, he was on back foot all through. He didn't do anything special. He was overweight. He looked so heavy. And whenever he threw, in fact, at some point the commentators were giving it to the Sasha because of his right hand. They were saying he is bulky. He has a power in his right hand. And they were even trying to sympathize with Caballero. But Caballero never gave up. Caballero kept coming forward, kept coming forward, kept coming forward. He frustrated every plan, never given Sanchez any opportunity to even develop any fight game. And of course, I don't think the corner even happened. Because the corner could have told him to go forward and then fight. He came as a coward. He lost as a coward. He was knocked out as a coward. That is not Sanchez that I know. He could have been, he wasn't, I, I don't think he was fit for that fight. That's not the guy I know. The guy that always thrown around, use his legs, use his foot, send out jabs, go to the body, go to the jab, sending out jabs, was just a shell of his former self. He was fighting from the start, from round one to the last round on the back foot. Who wins a fight? Fighting back foot, looking for opportunity, looking for when Caballero would not fight for you to come and fight. And of course, Cowboy, if, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You see passionate boxers. What Caballero did yesterday shows passion for the sport. That if he takes any any punch, he won't back out. He kept coming to frustrate you. And Franz Sanchez had to lose that fight. He had to lose. So, Parker versus Caballero. Parker said he's ready. Who wins? This both of these guys are in great. Listen, basically, listen. they're active. I, I, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something. You know that guy they call Parker. That guy they call Parker is an intelligent boxer. He hate him or don't hate him. He's a very intelligent boxer. He fight with his head. He's not the most skillful guy. He's not that skillful. He's not the best boxer. No. He box with his head i can guarantee one thing if caballero fight the way he fought sanchez and don't forget don't forget parker is good in that kind of fight everything everything parker needs to do is to use his head and use his punch you know I, I think listen if caballero produced parker the way he did Frank sanchez I think it would it would be a very hard work, but I think it might, it, unless Parker, unless he respects Parker power. Let's no. not let's not forget that Joe yeah. Joyce did not respect Parker's power, and Parker threw everything at Joe Joyce. He took it and he he broke Parker down and stopped him. Caballero, I don't know how good his chin is, but Fran Sanchez did land a couple of great. You know combinations and uh, right hand some of those fast flashes you know it's called, it's called the flash the cuban flash like fast flashy you know um uh, combinations that it landed on caballero caballero just talk to the game plan took it and kept coming forward so who what makes you think he would do that against parker but i think caballero 
fights very different. So he adjusts your game plan um, to the game plan of he doesn't fight the same fight. So if he's fighting somebody, he basically adjusts himself to that person's style or try to like find a solution. He reads you like a book and say, okay, this is what I can do to beat you. So that's why I didn't expect him to come forward against Fran Sanchez. I thought it was going to be a, a very tactical, a little bit of boring uh, fight because both of these guys are, are, are very tacti- tactical if you look at them. But the way he bullied Sanchez was very interesting. And also, Mah- Mahmoudov, that guy is like the, it was like the most scary guy, basically, in the division. Caballero, <laughs> Caballero avoided. Scary. Yeah, mm-hmm. That uh, Caballero avoided a lot of his punches and mm-hmm. broke him down to the body. He didn't. He didn't walk uh, Mahmoudov down in a way until he knew that Mahmoudov was was vulnerable to the body because he knew Mahmoudov. That guy, I don't think he can be knocked out just you know like by knocking him out in the chin, uh, via, via the chin. But I think body shots. Caballero is a very intelligent fighter, right? This guy right here has been very underrated, and um, I think I think uh, he's the he's the he's the, he might be the real deal. But he's thirty one now, so yeah, you know, time is no long. I don't I don't think he has a lot of time left. Well, um, and also th- thanks to Tokyo Lashik because if not for him, we don't see Caballero. In, in, because Caballero yeah. used to you know, normally fights in very small shows and. Mm-hmm. You know, no places like that. You know, he's been defending uh, his EBU ch- uh, uh, EBU title. So the guy has just been fighting fighting on regular shows and very small play- shows. Hey, Cecil, see, well, Cabal- yeah. took him. Cabal- yeah. Cabal- yeah. Cabal- yeah. Yeah has some good names in the resume. Kevin Johnson is there in his resume. Derek Chisora is there, and look at uh, um, Mark Mudov is right there. He's just defeated Mahmoudov. He's, he's, he's a real deal to, to look up to right now. At least to come up to the next level. And he's for us now, like, get get his excellency to be aware of the next fight the fan want to see. The fan want to see Paka versus Caballero. His excellency is hearing us. He got to make that fight happen because if we leave this fight in the hands of the promoters, we're not going to see this fight coming to, to bro, uh, Kabayer Parker. That would be a clash, bro. And Parker said, he, Parker said he wants it if the money is right, but I don't think he f- is not a he money is not a problem for for this fight to happen. I think all these fighters now they cannot make any excuse anymore. Like before, they used to have different excuses. All oh, this, all oh, the you know, oh, you have to be, you have, you have to join, you have to come to the side of the street. You have now that's not the case. You cannot. I want to see that fight. And then maybe we see if they if they thrown in a, in with any of them. Yes, I want to see. I, I want to see a Jabba fight on, on one of those cars, but I don't yes. know what's going. Top rank is not doing enough to put it. I don't know what's going on. Boxing politics. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm very disappointed right now. Bro. No, it's boxing politics. If he is talented, it's just that he's been kept behind where the real deal is. I want to see him inside the real deal. Understand me? I want to see him back in the in the boxing field. He's a good boxer. He just need those opportunities to take advantage of. That's Bro, he's it. with top rank. What do you mean by opportunities? They, uh, Caballero, I think Caballero has a deal with top rank, huh? Of course. I don't, I don't, I think so. I think he has I a deal with top rank. Up. He's manager. No, I think I he, he has a professional company in Germany, definitely, yeah. just like Usyk. Yeah. But I think he has a deal with top rank, you know? Okay. Might be a top rank fighter in the US. If he, I don't know. Yeah. I think so. I think so. But uh, yeah, we'll have to figure it out. Um, yeah, Ajakba is basically exclusive to top rank and then J. Prince is manager. So I know Ajakba is like, bro, I was just watching the other day, Ajakba's fight, old fights, bro. Ajakba was scary, bro. I don't know what happened. I think that Sanchez, Sanchez took, took some of that fear factor. But I like Ajakba's new... Um, Basically, uh, I, I, I did not make yeah. just a little mistake. He got caught. When you see, when you get caught with with the punch, you don't see. That's the one that causes damage. The punch that you see don't cause that damage because your mental, your your mentality is there to receive the punch. But 
what you don't see is a casualty that happens to you. So that's what happened to Ajakba. But the good thing is Ajakba recovered very well. You know, Ajakba recovered very well. That fight, I still believe, if Ajakba didn't go down on that fight with his knee, which, I mean, Ajakba, uh, he could have gone either way. I, 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 Ajakba is still good. He's good, he's good. I want to see him back in the ring. That's who would you, who would you like to see Ajakba, Ajakba fight next? Um, you're, you're basically your like ideal you know match of for Jabba. uh right now we'll, 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 we'll look into that we'll look into uh, what, about, what, what about what about what about you fury huh you fury your fury will be another good fight for Jabba. yes your fury will be another good fight for Jabba. yeah Otto Wallen would be a good fight for Jagba. Otto Wallen. You know. Yeah. I think, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it would be. Okay. I was thinking Caballero against Jerry Anderson, bro. What do you think? Uh, uh, that's a, Anderson is a dangerous guy, but I would love to see that fight too. So you um, don't. I, I, I'll, I'll go with Caballero, bro. I will go I, with Caballero. Anderson. I mean, these are the fight we want to see. Anderson. Yeah, he's fighting I on the, uh, he's fighting on August 3rd. I don't know if Caballero might take yeah. it, bro. Two. Uh, Caballero again. Four. Baka. These are the fight. Or oh, what is the name there here? Dubois. Yeah, the Dubois. Dubois. It's going fight. against Egovich. Yeah. On uh, two weeks time. Okay. Two weeks time. Egovich, yes. In two weeks time. John J against Wada. Two weeks time as well. Damn. Is junior is fighting with... Uh, Jeremila. You know, yeah, Jeremila, yeah. And then Deontay is taking on uh, John Jilly. Yeah, John Jilly, yeah. Yeah. Bro, everybody vision right now is like crazy. I can't talk a lot shit, man. Times to talk a lot shit. We can all, we can just. What we about can... this guy? I want to see this guy back in action that uh, that lost to, to, to the Chinese guy, this Nigerian guy. Um, What is his name? Um, the base in Europe. Who who's that? Oh gosh! Is he heavyweight or cruiserweight? Heavyweight, or? heavyweight. That just lost to he just lost to that uh, lost to Chang twice. To what? To who? To Chang, the Chinese you, guy. You, oh, you, Joe Chinese. Joyce. Joe jo, jo Joyce. I want to uh, see Joe Joyce back in action. Bro, I, he, had a, he had a fight recently, you know, he came back, a comeback fight, stopped the guy. And uh, Jod, bro, Jod West remained the only guy to stop Parker, basically, to stop him. Yeah, I want to see him back. Bro, I see can you back. imagine boxing? Some, that's why they say Styles make fight. Listen, Jod West knocked out Parker. He beat him up badly. Parker, mm -hmm. uh, Jod West got knocked out by Janjali twice. twice. Then uh, Parker then beat Janjali. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's crazy, bro. Although Parker got dropped twice by Judge Lee, but they beat him. He, he, yeah. he, so it's, it's crazy. So I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. And you, you also see how Parker beat Dubois. I mean, uh, how uh, how Jojo is beat Dubois. Yeah, and also Dubois went. <laughs> Dubois went on a bit. Who, who did Dubois beat in his last fight? What was his last fight? He won his Jer last fight. Who did Jer fight? Jer 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 Miller. Jeremy Miller. He won and beat Jeremy Miller in a very competitive nah, fight. Jer Jeremy Miller is fighting Andrews Jr. Andrews Jr. Might, he might beat... Imagine if Jeremy Miller beat Andrews Jr. for example. Uh, well, uh, let's see. I want to see that fight. I want to see... I mean, uh, Jeremy Miller and Andrews Jr. is a dangerous fight. For both of them, but and there is Junior has a gene that can stand anything, you know. I, I think Jeremy Miller also has a gene, though. Jeremy Miller was punished by, but he was really punished by Dubois. And he gave up by Dubois, Dubois yeah, but, but he he was stopped in his on his feet, bro. He, he was he never he was never knocked down. He was stopped by referee, yeah. and it was the last round basically. Because he 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 gas up. And he came basically. He came 
he, he that that is him after you know uh severin is a drug um you know he go you know he's a pd guy so basically after um, he served his <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's man. my brooklyn brother man that's my brooklyn brother man <laughs> yeah, sorry 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 brother we have to say the truth bro the guy failed pd <laughs> twice or three times you know so he got he, he got suspended and then uh yeah <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind saying Ajit, Ajit Kabaya against Jeremy Miller, Ajit Kabaya against Andrew Virginia, Ajit Kabaya against Joe Joyce, Ajit Kabaya yes. against Parker, Ajit Kabaya against Daniel like Dubois, Ajit Kabaya against, Kabaya against the, 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 um, uh, Philip Elgovich. I want to see all these guys together. Even Ajit Kabaya against Joshua. That would yes. be that would be a good fight. Kabaya against no, Fury. No, 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 Joshua, will, Joshua will punish him. Joshua is not a fighter. Listen, I know the problem with Joshua. Joshua has one basic problem. If he solves that problem, he will be the most dangerous boxer anybody want to fight with. And that's the that is that problem that Alexander you say capitalized on and be getting close to him. He got to work on his speed. He got to work on his speed because that time Joshua, you see, uh, Joshua beats you by setting you up and get you down. He sets you up and punishes you. But the only reason he had a competitive fight with with Alexander, Alexander understood that and never wanted to get into give him any opportunity for setup. And if boxer, if if and uh, if AJ, if AJ go out with intention of fighting as always done, it's going to be winning fights. I know what I mean. I will explain. When we talk about that, I will explain more about his fights. Hmm, all right, bro. Definitely. Yes. Love to get on that. 